Hi there, welcome to the Motley Crew. The channel that showcases games from the Motley Crew fleet members, and this is a mono Motley game, uh, i.e., just one member of the fleet still broken. And as you probably guessed, it features Chin in the midway. It's actually a couple of games uh, that were played yesterday and today, post update nerf or patch nerf. And in this first game, we've got Chin in the legendary midway and as you can see unfortunately someone has got cross play turned off they really should put the guys or the ladies as well who turn off cross play into their own lobby so they just have to wait to play each other anyway we're on hot spot and chin immediately puts out zoning torps into the bravo cap just in case any of the red team have decided to rush in and start capping. Okay, as you can see, we've already picked up a red team battleship beyond the Bravo cap. I did message Chin when he'd uploaded his games and said, has the nerf made any difference for you? And he said, not for me. And I think as you'll see from these games, uh, and both ships were nerfed, uh, I'm not convinced uh, it's gonna make that much of a difference. Okay, we just saw the red team destroy that pushed into Bravo and Chin putting torques on that Alsace. He did get a top on the Alsace, I believe. And as you can see, red team are capping Bravo. There's a Schroeder out there, just to the north of the Alpha Cap. It's already got torps going towards it. It does pick up a torp. It's receiving fire and Chin's going in for a bombing run. Yeah, Schroeder's got uh, good armour, turtle back armour, but he's going to molest it, so to speak, with his dive bombers. Oh, nearly, he nearly gets it, but the Carl Johan picks up the spare, and that's one red ship down. Now, I don't know if any of you watched the Legends live stream yesterday. Uh, they're still pursuing the same line that this is a, an evolutionary uh, phase of the game where they're, they're looking to see what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, that's normally called testing. Um, okay, Chin's focusing on the Shima now, the red team Shima. But as a number of uh, commentators said, including Meta Jerk, it seems a shame that he seems to have devoted so much development time to a class of ships that, to be honest, only a minority play. Yeah, he gets a fire on, on the red team, Shima. Autopilot mode enabled. Pushes midway up to just south of the Bravo cap. But I must say, I think it's fairly unprecedented, unprecedented to have a, an update just a week after the beginning of a campaign to fix uh, a problem with the update, so to speak. Okay, the Carl Johan also picks up that Shima. So, red team two ships down. Chin, meanwhile, zones in on the Alsace. And he's 
coming round again. Red team are being pushed away from the caps. Yeah, more hits and set on that Al Sasson sets a fire. That was ten hit, ten bombs hit then. I think most people would agree that probably the first problem um, is that ship AA is just not good enough, you know. I know there are some ships that have excellent AA and I will be showing a game after this where uh, Odin actually gets a clear sky in a ship not built or built into AA, which is interesting. But... I suspect, like me, most of you have been changing your builds so that um, you get enhanced AA, etc. But I think, as I've said before, it doesn't really seem to make a huge difference apart from certain ships. So I personally, and it says my personal view, I think they could enhance AA. Okay, Midway takes out the Carl Johan. That's the red team Midway. So, blue team R1 ship now. I also think the whole plane regeneration thing needs to be fixed. Uh, I think it was Aaron who managed to regenerate, I think it was 250 ships. It was a legendary carrier, I believe. Uh, 250 planes rather, not ships. 250 planes. That is ridiculous. More bombs on that Alsace. Two more fires. Yeah, they really do need to... I mean, if they try and make it as more realistic, so whatever the uh, number of planes, the, the ship or the class of ships, because some of these are fantasy carriers, um was designed to carry that could be the total or that plus 10% and Chin picks up the Alsace rather than just almost perpetual plane re regeneration okay red team midway take, takes out the blue team Shima just two ships left on the red team now they're slowly being pushed up towards the the back line and the back and the top left hand corner if you like the top northeast corner and hat tip to Odin because he did come up Odin 63 with I think a couple of really good ideas his first idea was that carriers should not be able to launch unless they are moving forward High caliber for Chin there. That would stop carriers camping behind rocks. If a ship can't fire through a rock, why should a carrier be able, be able to be nose in to an island and still launch planes? And likewise, in the damage mechanics. Now, yeah, I know ships get fires and get citadel, but they also lose turrets. Well, why can't carriers under a certain amount of damage, have their flight decks fouled. They were in real life. And I think that's another excellent idea. Anyway, back to the game, sort of me wittering. Okay, Torps on the red team midway. And that's another way I think that the game is going to change because prior to this update, um, we tended to leave leave carriers until towards the end of the game and many of us were critical of destroyers who rushed up to the back of the map to find a carrier. Post-update or post this new campaign, it's now actually quite a good tactic to take on the carriers as early as spot and take them on as early as possible. The amount of damage, and as you can see from this game, Chin's got over 100,000 damage. Yeah, the amount of damage that these carriers are meeting out 
means that carriers have moved up the, the pecking order, so to speak, in ships to kill. So destroyers were always number one, and I would argue that carriers are now number two with cruisers. Yeah, unfortunately UBB mains battleships are the least effective ships in this game. Okay, more torps on the red team midway. And as you can see, Chin has moved into the Bravo cap. I do like this range mechanic. I think it does work very well. I do hope they, whatever they do at the end, I hope they keep it. I think it's fair. I like the ideas I just said that Odin suggested about the carrier being uh, moving to launch planes and a damage mechanic. Okay, so we've got Midway and the Alaska. I'm not sure what's going on here. They're touching tips there. And Chin is now zeroing in on Midway. Yeah, fire on Midway. He's now going to launch torpedo bombers. And Chin takes out the red team Midway. That's two kills for Chin. So there's just the Alaska left now. The other two blue team ships are starting to push. Worcester gets a clear sky. If you, you do see fewer clear skies nowadays, that's very true. There she is. Talks on Alaska. Yeah, four torps. And she's very low health now. The other ships start to join in. Okay. Another torpedo run from Chin. She's not got much left, that Alaska. Bang. Chin gets the kill. Fairly short game, that. Obviously, because someone had crossplay turned off. But good game, Chin. But I think, as you can see, legendary carriers are still OP. Okay, so we've got a second game now. This was actually uploaded this morning and features Chin in the Parsifal. And once again, unfortunately, it does show a little bit of OP performance. So we're on Greece. Three destroyers per team. Three cruisers. Or two cruisers on the blue team. Not three. <laughs> okay, and we're off. That is, sounds slightly Machiavellian chuckling from Chin there. But hey ho. I think he was probably laughing about the support. The request for support, but there you go. Okay, he has got Starscream on, pass of all, so she's got jets instead of prop planes. And he starts to spot the red team. 
battleships initially. Yeah. But he zones in on the cruiser, the Albemarle. And gets five citadels in his first run. <laughs> so he pushes out over the Bravo Cap again. And that makes sense because I'm sure we've all played Greece. It's trying to suss out what's on the other side to your team of that Bravo cap because of the large central island is always a bit of a pain. Okay, he picks up, I think that's the Albemarle again. Yeah. Four citadels. He did actually call this. <laughs> he called this game bully mode, and I think I can see why. Okay, he's now going to push more towards Alpha. Alpha is contested. Charlie's nearly capped. But I think. Uh, if I'm at, yeah, obviously the DD in there has just got hit. And there's obviously a red team DD in the Alpha Cap. There she is, Lightning. Lucian gets the first blood on the red team, Erster Gertland. And Shin gets the lightning. Meanwhile, <laughs> the red team lightning gets its revenge and with its torps that it launched uh, before Chin attacked and picks off the Ostergirtland. I'm oh, sorry, the Friesland, not the Ostergirtland. Okay, back over B. But you'll notice blue team at the moment are reluctant to go into B and contest it. Oh, there's that Albemarle again. Bang, four more citadels. 13 citadels so far. This really is bully mode, isn't it? That's 16 citadels and a kill for Jin. I could say that's ridiculous. But it's also good play by Jin, to be fair. Okay, as you can see, blue team have taken Charlie Cap and Alpha Cap now. Uh, red team are down four ships. And there's a nearly dead, I'm not sure what that is. Nearly dead uh, red team battleship. I think it's a Musashi, but I'm not sure. He does get torps on it and he comes back. Ah, uh, but she get. I know, Izumo. Blue team uh, Musashi takes out. It was an Izumo. As you can see, as I've, I've commented before, Chin is relentless with his carrier strikes. I think that's the way to be. And you'll notice he often he will he'll do a torpedo run or strike and then he'll swap to bombs to allow the torpedo squadrons to regenerate. 
and then uh, so he alternates between normally between one and the other okay the Prince Ruprecht takes out the blue team Summers yeah Two tall pits there. And he comes back for more. So I think that's an Amagi. Yeah, it is an Amagi who takes three more torps. But he's after that, he goes towards the Prince Ruprecht now. Something in the smoke there. He's going to put zoning torps through the smoke. And red team have managed to recapture the A cap. But blue team are now taking the Bravo cap. More speculative torps into the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> and Chin gets an assisted cap. Okay, the Lushon has taken out that Amagi that Chin attacked earlier. It's just three red ship red team ships left now. And with the exception of that Prince Ruprecht, the other two ships are near the back line. They've run away, you could argue. Torps on Prince Ruprecht. Lushon takes out the Otago. Yeah, another torp run on Prince Ruprecht. And the Musashi picks it off. And finally, the red team Saipan does take out the blue team um, Bismarck. So yeah, good game, Chin. Uh, unfortunately, I think we can deduct from these two games. Carriers are still a bit OP. I hope you enjoyed that. We will be back with more for you very soon. And it is live stream tonight. <laughs>